Hey, hey, what's happening? What's up? You're watching all the way up. I'm your host, Aaron. You can call me A.A. Ron. So, uh, something really cool and exciting uh, happened uh, last night. Helped out a friend. Uh, super excited to help out this friend. Very close friend. Um, so, the current situation with the Litecoin Cash hard fork. Um, we had sent his Litecoin to a Jack's wallet. And then he went ahead and sent his jacks, or sent his Litecoin, back to his Trezor. Okay. Um, Trezor is a good hardware hardware wallet. Uh, very trustworthy. Big, huge shout out to them. Uh, and I'll explain why here in a little bit. Um, just fantastic. So, um, on Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday is when uh, my friend sent his Litecoin from his jacks back to his trezor. Copied the address from the trezor, pasted it in the jacks, hit send, confirmed in the blockchain, no Litecoin back to the trezor. Digging in, digging in, my technical ability, looking for all sorts of situations, possibilities, what could happen, is it jacks, is it trezor, what the heck happened? Still really, truly don't know exactly what happened. Um, but based off of what uh, we ended up doing and getting his Litecoin back to his Trezor, um, it's possible that he copied a Bitcoin address, pasted it into the Jax wallet, into the Litecoin send address, and I believe Jax may have converted it. So something you may or may not know is Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, and Litecoin all share a lot of the same code base and they kind of carried a lot of the same addresses in as far as their conventions to create their addresses so Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash identical addresses I mean you could send Bitcoin Cash to a Bitcoin address and there are ways to claim that if you do that uh, Google Google tell you an answer some way somehow um, so Anyway, after four hours on Tuesday night and looking at different things and then resetting the Trezor, inputting the seed phrase again, still didn't show the Litecoin, uh, I happened to be wondering, how could this happen? How could you copy an address, send it, it confirm in the Litecoin blockchain and not show up? Um, and I happened to come across a blog post on Trezor's website that they have a Litecoin recovery tool. I thought, hmm... Is it maybe possible that possibly Jax could have converted the Segwood address that is now in a Trezor for his Bitcoin, which is a three address, it begins with a three. For those of you that don't know, Bitcoin is adopted Segwit, and their addresses now begin with a three for multi-signature and Segwit. So it's technical, but you got to pay attention to it because Litecoin for a little bit was using the three address and you can convert those and it can be very confusing and until all this crazy stuff like this gets worked out between all the different cryptos it's going to take a while for mass adoption to fully come on board we want things easy simple uh, trouble free hassle free for the everyday user so everyone starts using crypto and we get off the fiat unbacked debt-based system of money so to make a long story short, Trezor has a little tool, and I'll put a link in the description, but basically they have a recovery tool. You plug in your Trezor, and it scans your Trezor, and it asked if we wanted to send 32 Bitcoin to his Litecoin address. Well, there was not 32 Bitcoin showing up in his Bitcoin address, and we knew this. I said, oh my gosh, there's your Litecoin, buddy. Click recovery. You confirm it twice on the Trezor. And we went through his Litecoin wallet on his Trezor and bada bing, bada boom, cha -ching. I mean, that is fantastic. So, uh, Trezor, fantastic developers. Um, I'll try to tag you guys on Twitter, do whatever I can uh, to promote you. I mean, I currently use a ledger, but for you guys to create a tool like that uh, for people that make mistakes or whatever, that's that's top notch. That's putting the customer and the consumer first, and you're going to help adoption uh, move moving forward. So keep things simple, keep things easy, try to keep them trouble free. Um, 
still don't know if this could have been a Jax issue where they automatically converted uh, the, the Litecoin address, but that Litecoin address that he sent to from his Jax wallet, it wasn't in his Trezor, so still confused as to exactly what happened. But anyway, um, like I said, I'll put the link below. Uh, you guys can go ahead and check it out. I just thought I'd share that a little bit with you. Peace.